Hi everyone. Welcome to our lecture video 2 for the study on operations management or the total quality management. Previously, we have discussed about what operations management is. We learned that uh, it is the set of activities that create value in the form of goods and services by transforming input into output. So it can be either creating goods and product or providing services. We've also learned that we need to organize when we produce goods and services. And to create goods and services, um, all organizations must perform three basic functions in marketing, in production or operations, and in finance or accounting, wherein we gave examples uh, how does this ap uh, apply to the real setup in a firm? Case in point we had was in the commercial bank wherein there is the speller, the scheduling, and all these processings in operation um, by providing the services in the bank. An operation manager needs to know what are the proper tasks that each employee in each swim lane must do. We also have another example in the airlines industry. Same, it's a service and wherein we, we, we understood that part of the role of operations manager is really checking on the reservations, the scheduling of the flights, the booking, and that's the side of the marketing. And in the operations, we have the ground support equipment, are they well, uh, the maintenance, the ground operations, so that the quality of service that we will be providing to our consumers or our end users are uh, satisfactory or even exceeding satisfactory rating. And our last example too was in a manufacturing setup where in its operations, we learned that uh, in its facilities, like in the construction, maintenance, production of the inventory, the control, the scheduling, the mentoring, the coaching, etc., etc., all these have to be dealt with properly by operations manager. In this lecture video, we will discuss the design of goods and services. Great products are the keys to success. Anything less than an excellent product, product strategy can be devastating to a firm. To maximize this, the potential for success, many companies focus on only a few products and then concentrate on those products. Because a lot of products, in other words, when there are too many products and complex ones, it might do harm moving forward for that company than the good. In other words, the risk might outweigh the benefit of providing that certain good or product or service. In our case study about the Regal Marine, that one minute video, it tackles about um, the production from its design to its final output, that all the staff, the operations manager of Regal Marines have really want to put their best quality control in each stages of the activity in producing that boat so that they can provide an excellent quality grade um, boats. And they, they actually were able to be at their best and they became number one in providing, providing boats uh, in the US. And they focus on that. Right? They have that one focus 
um, into into dealing with that. No? So that's just one of the of the many example that we can see that have provided and established a good processes to provide a better product for the end user. Anything less than an excellent product strategy can be devastating. Well, that is very true. For, for instance, no, Honda's focus, its core competency is engines. Virtually, all of Honda's, uh, how do you call that? All of Honda's sales, autos man yan, motorcycles, generators, lawn mowers, are based on its outstanding engine technology. Likewise, yung Intel computer, Intel's focus is on the microprocessors. Right? So, may mga product focus, may mga service focus yung isang firm. In the past, Jollibee was just offering burger. Right? Yung sandwich na may ice cream, iba doon na kumpisa si Tony Tan Kapyong. Yan and then, uh, parang dumating yung McDonald's sa Philippines. Na gusto silang i-buy out. Parang may ganong story. And then, McDonald's has, has also been known for its burgers. Diba? Ngayon na lang sila eventually, no? Na nag-diverse into other product. But still, they became true to their um, major and their one sole product that made them the best in their industry. So that's one of the examples. But again, that's another discussion when we discuss about McDonald's and Jollibee. We're in, um, we're in, yung mga products nilang yan has been diversified already to, to many. But that's not to many pa rin, eh, di ba? Para makikita mo lang, spaghetti, chicken joy, and then you have burger, di ba? And then the soft drinks and fries. Pero rotate lang dyan, no? Lalagyan lang nila ng konting mga promotions and marketing, but still, product focus. Here, the objective of the product decision, product line, design, branding, packaging, labeling, positioning, support, new product, product mix, the object of the product decision is really to develop and implement a product strategy that meets the demands of the marketplace with a competitive advantage. Sa Regal Marine, di ba, yung video na yun, when you, if you watch it already, sinabi nila doon, it's really the consumers that tell them what the consumers need. And then from there, mature individuals, a group of people, a team, uh, discuss the need of the customers and they are mature enough to think on how they can execute and give the quality both for the end users as they demanded. And then the operations manager will just, you know, um, as we previously studied, sila yung mag, mag ensure na lahat ng mga pinlano, lahat ng pag-execute, at control na gagawin at yung production, pag-deliver, at after sales and all, etc. will be there. Okay? So, the objective of your product decision is to develop and implement a product strategy that meets the demands of the marketplace with a competitive advantage. Isa pa doon sa story ng Gal Marino na company is yung, uh, yung isang strategy nila doon is they were able to get economies of scale from their suppliers. So what is this concept of the economies of scale? The economies of scale, um, ang idea niya lang talaga dyan is the more you you acquire something, the more that it becomes cheaper at your end. Okay? Paano nangyayari yun? Case in point, uh, yung Regal Marine in their, in their suppliers, no? kasi malakihan yung mga kinukuha nila, in order nila, mas nakakamura sila kasi they can bargain eh. O oh, I'll buy, let's say, 5 million, 10 million. So, didiscountan mo ba ako ng ganitong percent? The, mon the moment na yung company na pinagbilan, syempre, supplier ka, o oh, sige, 
para bang nakabenta ang wholesale. So that's the economies of scale. It's one of the strategies of Regal Marine that they got good quality supplies, cheaper supplies that can give them boost in their production line. Inaayos na nila yung production line nila, di ba? Maayos na because of employing the right uh, employees, the right attitude, mature individuals, a team, a good operations manager. So, employing to the techniques in total quality management. Again, when we discuss total quality management, it just uh, means that the totality of the totality of providing great product and services, parang high end, parang the top of the line at the with excellence, creating goods and services or providing them with excellence in its totality. No? So parang you're giving all your best to deliver a service or to develop and sell that goods or product. I hope you are still following me on that. So that's why um, in our study of operations management, diba? Uh, in our previous discussion, it is important to know how the operations management activity functions from all the facets of the organization, such as in the market, in the finance, in the production. You know? We also study that operations management because you want to know how goods and services are produced, right? And understand what operations managers do. So, ano yan? Parang may ripple effect yan in, in our study of operations management. So, dito sa product cycle and strategy, you know, sa life cycle and strategy, just as operations manager managers must be prepared to develop new products, they must also prepare to develop strategies for new and existing products. Okay? Bakit? Kasi may tinatawag tayong phase of life cycle ng isang product. Uh, we have here the graph, loss, the profit side. No? And then it will go down and then kaya napansin nyo minsan parang uh, ano yung in-offer ng mga fast food chain. Paulit-ulit na naman yung product nila eh. But they are introducing something new that is a strategy for the existing product no? Like, um, ano ba yung recent sa, ano, sa KFC? Yung double down, di ba? Dati, meron na yun. Introduce lang. Just to create a name, again, or their names to, to, be, to be talked to in town. That's part of, of uh, the product life cycle and strategy. Let's briefly go through each of the product uh, phase of life cycle of a product. Here, in introductory part, products in the introductory phase are still being fine-tuned for the market. As are their production techniques, they may warrant unusual expenditures for number one, research, product development, process modification, and enhancement, and supplier development. For example, when the iPhone was first introduced, the features desired by the public were still being determined. At the same time, operations managers were still groping for the best manufacturing techniques because that was new. What we had that time was keypads, di ba? Yung mga keypad na phone. And then here comes iPhone introducing keypadless. So parang, uh, paano ba? Introduce na natin and then determine natin kung gugustuhin ba ito ng mga ano, ng mga consumers o hindi. Diba? At kung paano pa natin siya papagandahin, no? yung phone, case in phone, ito kumari, ito yung iPhone, paano pa natin siya papagandahin? Dati, parang, ah, ayaw namin yan kasi kipad, nakakalito. But Steve Jobs, uh, creativity said, mas madali ito kasi wala ka nang maraming i-memorize, pipindutin mo na lang with all the icons, but hindi pa ganun kapulito that time. 
during the introductory part that's why that's why sure na sure yan pag mayroong new introduction sa market maraming unusual expenditures na binabanggit yan research product development process modification enhancement kasi along the way mo modify mo o baguhin ka at yung mga supplier development okay i hope that's clear you can think of any product undergoing the same uh, phase uh, during its uh, life cycle. The growth. So, loss pa yung nandun, no? Hindi pa kumikita kasi ang taas pa ng mga gastos. In the growth phase, product design has begun to stabilize. Medyo may stability na siya. An effective forecasting of capacity requirements is necessary. Adding capacity or enhancing existing capacity to accommodate the increase in product demand may be necessary. Kasi, lumipad na eh. Nag-launch na yung product eh. Parang nandun na siya sa, sa, nag nag sa growth stage na siya eh. We're in, makakakita ka na ng break-even dyan sa, uh, sa, inyong, ano, sa inyong income. No? Medyo stabilized na siya. So, nag- Nagaano na siya. Tapos, we go now to, to like, like that, no? yung, yung, yung growth nila doon sa iPhone. Diba? Parang masusundan mo yung, yung pagbabago niya, yung pagiging advance niya. Like si Steve Jobs ulit, no? yung mouse na dinideliver niya dati sa introductory part. Ganun-ganun lang yung na-imagine niya that time. Na parang, somebody can use this, ganun lang, and then you can navigate already a computer. Then they introduce it, parang it's this, hirap pa, and eventually nag-grow yung mouse industry. No, dati may mga balls pa yun, di ba? Ngayon, ano na, wireless na, uh, ganun na, di ba? So yun yung mga may growth, nakaka-forecast na, and then yun, yun yung sa life cycle ng growth. Sa maturity naman, by the time a product is mature, competitors are established. Nandiyan na rin yung mga competitors. Lumabas na din yung maraming touchscreen. Lumabas na din yung mga parang iPhone na style no, ng mga phones. So, high volume, innovative production may be appropriate. Dapat magkaroon ulit ng mga innovation. Improve cost control, reduction in options, and a pairing down of the product line will be effective or necessary for, for profitability and market share. Look what iPhone is doing now. But they have issued, ano to, parang on a yearly basis, lahat naman, no, ng mga companies, on a yearly basis, may mga bagong model na nilalabas. Tapos magtataka ka, parang wala namang nabago, parang konti lang, same pa rin, itsura lang ang tinit ng konti. Yung dating square, ginawa lang pa ganun, tapos yung screen, but Still, still the same function, dinagdagan lang ng siguro yung internal storage, yung functionality, yung kayang ma-access and all. Kasi nasa maturity stage na siya. And then, this is also the time na medyo nagde-decline na rin yung uh, profitability. Again, because of high competitor. And then, we can have the last phase, which is the uh, decline stage, no? Management may need to be ruthless with products whose life cycle is at an end. Ruthless, wala talagang patawad. Ah, hindi na pa kumikita. Let's just take that out. No? Um, ano ba ang mga pwede nating example dito? Well, yung mga face out na ano. <laughs> mga iPhone, siguro. Those uh, can be a good example. In the fast food industry, maybe we can think of ano bang mga nawala na mga food. Nadagdag, nawala, tapos binalik ulit, reintroduce. Well, yung sa KFC, yung double down, wala na rin sila ngayon, di ba? Siguro, hindi nag-hit. Kahit sabihin pa nilang, promotion na lang yun para pumasok sila dito at matikman. Why? Well, for, for a strategic marketing that wants to increase sales for a very short span, it's working. I think they didn't plan it to be really sustainable that they that will be part of their uh, menu right wala na ngayon tinanggal na and then reintroducing of something new mga additional gimmicks and all 
Now, dying products are typically poor products in which to invest resources and managerial talent, which is true, unless dying products make some unique contribution to the firm's reputation or its product line or can be sold with an unusual contribution. Their production should be terminated. So, bakit hindi pa nawawala sa Jollibee yung burger? Kasi, hindi pa naman sila ganun ka, contributing pa rin naman yung burger na Jollibee. Diba? Yun naman talaga yung pinaka bread and butter product nila. Hanggang sa ngayon, makikita natin sa mga advertisement, diba? it focuses more on juicy delicious chicken, chicken joy, the chicken, the fried chicken. Right? But, uh, that, that dying product, the burger, kasi malakas talaga yung ibang mga burger. May mga iba pang mga burgers na naglalabasan from abroad, di ba? Na nandito na din sa Pilipinas. Meron pa rin siyang unique contribution to the firm's reputation. Yung Jollibee Burger. That's why, uh, andan pa rin siya. Meron pa rin siyang profit, pero medyo maliit na lang yan. Maliit na lang siguro yung uh, pinaprofit nila dyan. So, in our study of the product life cycle and strategy, we understand that a certain product or a service needs to be well thought of. And during its introduction phase, you really need to spend a lot in research, testing, etc. Uh, survey, maybe, I don't know, basta lahat, test mo. Kasi, dyan ka talaga mga ngapital kasi pag wala kang product or service, wala kang business. That's one of the most important thing sa pag nag-establish ka ng business, you identify your product. And then it's growth. You need to realize na may growth yan, may maturity yan, may decline yan. So that uh, the, the, the cycle of, of the phase of life cycle of a product or service can be um, revisited by operations manager. What can we do to improve this, to market it again with high, uh, that will lead us to XXX percent revenue by the end of the year. So may mga ganon, ulit-ulit lang yan. No? But everything undergoes the same. Kahit gano pa karaganda yung product na yan. So when generating new products, Knowing how to successfully find and develop new product is a requirement. Diba? It is a requirement. Aggressive new product development requires that organization build structures internally that have open communication with customers, innovative product development, no? Pag nag-generate ka yung product, ng new product, new innovative product development cultures, Aggressive research and development, R&D uh, stands for research and development. Talaga mag-iisip at mag-iisip yung mga team dyan. Strong leadership. Kailangan yan, may strong leadership kasi kung walang mas strong leadership doon that will push for the project and support for the project, wala din mangyayari. Kung patamad-tamad yung mga operations manager doon or yung mga na-hire nyo, no, ng mga operations manager na hindi pala nag-tip doon sa qualification sa firm ninyo, hindi nila mafe-feed yung leadership ng good insight uh, based on the on their processing doon sa pag-generate ng new product. Well, formal incentives for employees and training. That's important. No? These are all requirements. So, as HR, kayo, uh, na nag-aaral ng human resource, these qualities I needed for you guys to screen the right um, candidates for the role. And you now have the idea na, ah, sa operation pala, hindi lang pala yung pabarabarang o lagyan ng tao dyan. Dapat fit talaga sila doon sa kaya nalang i-provide at gawin at sa experience nila. May mga management talaga. So, with all this, no, in generating new products, 
managers or operations managers can now focus on these things. Kasi if they are not aware of this, on the left side, no, itong, uh, itong mga aggressive new product uh, uh, organizations na, na kailangan, na, na structure na kailangan ng organization, walang mangyayari. No? So operations manager must be aware of these dynamics and be able to anticipate changes in product opportunities, the product themselves, the product volume, the product mix, so that uh, they can focus, they can shift their focus in understanding the customer that will help doon sa existing products, no, sa face cycle. Economic change. No, ay, may pagbabago, kailan mag-adapt tayo. No, paano natin mamimintin yung quality? Case in point, no? Ngayon, inflation, nagmahal, economic change. Hindi nga nagbago yung product. Uh, hindi nga nagbago yung price. Pero yung product, nagbago. Parang yung serving, dati ganito, ganito na lang. Magigit naman yan ng mga tao, eh. Diba? Na, ah, ganito na lang. So, what if may buying power yung mga tao dun sa industry mo? Natalikuran nila yun. Ah, hindi na fit dun sa value ng money yung ano, yung service or yung product no? may economic change. So dahil hindi aware ang mga managers, operations managers, hala sige, continue na lang yan. Continue na lang yan. No, mas better pa siguro mag price increase ka ng konti. But the same product, no? I don't know. It depends on the understanding of the managers. Sociological and demographic change. Nagbago yung taste and preference which is driver siya ng economic din, ng demands, supply. Technological change. Uh, shall we adapt robo order? Yung mga robot na nandun yun sa McDo, sa Jollibee, kung saan mang fast food chain. So how will that impact uh, providing a good service kapag may nag-order? Kasi robot na, uh, ano na siya? Yung quality niya, the best na, hindi na nagkakamali unless magkamali yung user. Kaysa sa tao na iba yung, may specific ang instruction pero hindi nasunod, di ba? So, there must be a way on weighing on the pros and cons of having those technological change. Political and legal change. Uh, operations managers must be aware of this too because uh, in the case of Chowking, no, recently, yung employee nila, parang, was that a good service? Was that a good, I don't know, I am not here to, ano, basta I'm just lay, laying down uh, actual events that can impact employees, quality, production, operations, operations of a firm because of existing political and legal change. Uy, bawal yan sa labor. Uy, kawawa naman. Uy, ganito. Kung may mga ganong dynamics, kailangan makapag-focus yung mga operations managers din natin so they can incorporate that in the strategy that we will be employing, that we will be employing the firm. And then other changes may be brought about through market practice, professional standards, suppliers, and distributors. So, that's the whole concept of our lecture video two in our study of operations uh, management or total quality management. To, to sum it up, maybe number one, we learn that um, this specific study, balik ko lang dun sa, sa taas. Balik ko lang dyan, dyan, dyan na. Again, that great products are the keys to success. Anything less than an excellent product strategy can be devastating to a firm. To maximize the potential for success, many companies focus on only a few products and then concentrate on those products. Okay? So, again, our study of our study on total quality management, that, that totality, the entirety of excellence that an operations manager should be doing. A human resource manager, a recruitment 
staff or officer should be doing to boost the performance of your organization it must be it must have total quality with excellence putting your best foot forward in everything that you do no kung sa sourcing ka man sa recruitment kailangan na ng tao doon tapos pinatagalan mo kasi hindi mo inayos yung trabaho mo walang excellence walang matawag doon walang quality Walang total quality management. No? So, yun yung implication. Kasi mga HR students kayo, no? elective ata ninyo tong total quality management. That's how we can relate the study of total quality management or operations management that even me, as in the recruit, recruitment, payroll and benefit ba yan, compensation ba yan, attendance safekeeping ba yan, kung anumang function na meron kayo sa human resource, when you try to put your best foot forward, doing everything with excellence, that's total quality. With less supervision, less management na ng mga managers nyo who are, as I say, or as I may call them, your operations manager. Because that's your operations. Alright? I hope uh, this lecture video has given you additional insight on our uh, topic and study of operations management, total uh, quality management. Thank you.